The Social Security Administration has announced that local Social Security offices will once again be having face-to-face -face appointments with individuals as of April 7th of 2022. During the COVID pandemic, a lot of local offices had closed their doors to walk-ins and to appointments, instead doing most of their appointments over the phone or encouraging people to use online services. Now, those online services and phone appointments are still available. And in fact, the Social Security Administration encourages people to seek out those ways of having their Social Security questions answered first. If you do need to go in person to a local office, an appointment is strongly recommended. You can find a local Social Security office near you. We link to it in the description below of how to find your closest office. We also share the website where you can handle a lot of your online services and the 1-800 number to call Social Security to have some of your questions answered. If you are going in person, a lot of the COVID restrictions are still in place. That might mean masking or distancing. So make sure you know what the requirements are of your local social security office before you go in person. Now, like we said, a lot of those de details can be handled at Social Security's online website and through the My Social Security app. You can also take care of a lot of items over the phone. But Social Security reminds us, at least in the short term, to be patient with their phone system. They add one more note to their announcement that their phone system is being modernized. And that could mean a few glitches early in the transition, either some busy signals or some disconnected lines. They recommend that to mitigate these disruptions, people try to call those 1-800 numbers when it's not too busy. And they tell us that could be before 10 a.m. or after 4 p.m. during your local time, or at a day that's later in the week. They tend to not be as busy toward the end of a week. So once again, this is a short-term transition of their phone system, and a few little glitches may be expected along the way. You can read more from Social Security in their press release and also some more details of how to use their online services. We link to that in the description below.